were supposed to go out on a two-day mission, and about 200 meters out, uh, I came up to a, a little choke point, and I realized taking the easiest route wasn't really the best idea. I woke up and I felt this enormous pain in my legs. It just felt burning. And I was just like, oh my God, what happened? I remember saying our fathers a lot. I got a call from his sister and she told me, Jackie, you need to get over here. Something happened to Carlos. I uh, drove down to his parents' house. When I got there, his entire family were just in tears. And um, I walked into his sister's room and she was on the telephone with him. And she handed it over to me and I asked him what had happened and he said, babe, you know, I got blown up, I lost my legs. I went to Germany, Launchstuhl. From there, I spent two weeks in Bethesda. I joined him in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. It was myself, his mother, and his sister. They come into the room and I just had a big old smile on my face. That was, I was really excited to see him. When I got out of inpatient, they put me on uh, stubbies, which is just little prosthetics. Uh, two months after that, I was in actual knee prosthetics. After that, it was just a whole bunch of just physical activity. Currently, we're living in the on-base housing. Sometimes when I turn, I'll hit the wall and there's a lot of a chipping that I, that I have from when I hit it pretty hard. The kitchen isn't very wide, so it's hard for him to navigate in there as well. I've almost fallen off my wheelchair trying to reach for like stuff at the top shelf when she's not home. The shower is really hard to get to. I'd roll up. As soon as I'd roll up, I'd have to jump off. Like, again, I'd have to jump off the wheelchair. I'd have to push my wheelchair all the way back, and sometimes I'd have to call her in because it does roll away from me. Actually, at my parents' house, he has to roll up to the door, get out of his wheelchair, put his butt on the floor, and then try to hop onto the toilet just to use the restroom. Carrying the baby as well, it's hard to navigate sometimes through the hallway. I have to go all the way down the hall, turn around, and then just come right back. It's kind of hard for him at times because he's very stubborn and he doesn't want to have to ask for help. So there's points where he kind of gets frustrated and will push me away. So I try to back off until he's calmed down a bit and then eventually he will ask for help. Having a new home, what it means to me I, is rolling around freely without bumping into anything. Um, it's, it's amazing when my daughter's crying. I don't have to worry about going all the way down the hall when I could just spin around real quick and just go straight to her. Being able to do the dishes, being able to do laundry, being able to cook, the pull down shelves, the, the hallways, the bathroom, the living room. Even the automatic doors I think are amazing. Um, there are times where he does try to open a door and just trying to push the door open then pull himself through at the same time, it's really difficult. The roll-in shower is awesome with the built-in shower bench. The master bathroom has the roll under sink, same with the kitchen, so he can roll right up to the sink and be able to wash dishes, cook, clean, do everything as if I weren't there. Even you know if he were on his own, he'd be able to do everything by himself, be completely independent, and I think that's the greatest thing for him, like to help boost his self-esteem and feel normal again. Having people who actually care about us that much is truly inspiring. It's just incredible to think that there's people that are out there that are willing to give and give and not expect anything in return and understand, you know, the struggles that we have to deal with. And it's just, we're so grateful that we've been able to, been given this opportunity and it just is really heartwarming and to know that there are people out there that truly, truly care.